Shalom, Shalom, giving all praises to our Heavenly Father and the Only Begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Strong Shalom to the hopeful elect. Peace, love, and salutations to you, Akim, out there, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Brothers Araya, Allah coming back with a quick hit, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, and I was just, you know, meditating, just, you know, watching, you know, a quick little lesson. And it's just like, man, we we get it now, Lord. Like we we get it. Like how how long shall we, you know what I'm saying, be in this place? Because we sitting here in this captivity and we sitting here at the lowest of the lowest, man. At the lowest of the lowest, man. We need salvation, man. We're ready to rule, man. We wanna be on top, man. We weren't, you know what I'm saying, made to be at this, you know, lowest state, man. We were made to be kings and priests of the earth, man. So let me grab uh second edgers chapter six. Um, I'm gonna start at verse 54, and it says, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and those people also whom thou hast chosen. Right? Who was those people that thou hast chosen, man? First, it started off with you know the, the three different types of men. You had the sons, you had the sons of God, which is the sons of the living power, you know, you had the sons of the wicked, and then you had the sons of the other nations, right? You know, and then later on down the line became Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob out of the, uh, out of the, uh, son of, uh, uh, Shem, which was, his father was, uh, Noah, man, and, and Af Afrafath, Peleg, uh, Timar, and, and, and things of that nature. You kind of get the point, but it came later down to Israel, and we have been chosen, man, from the beginning, man, the nation of Israel, thou has chosen, man. We all come from Adam, but the Lord had a distinctive group of people that he chose, man. We are the chosen people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Simeon Indians, man. Across the four corners of the planet Earth, man. We are the chosen seed, man. Verse 55, it says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Right, man. The world was made for our sakes, man. These damn other heathen nations, man, they were made to serve us, man. Not us being servants serving them, man. It says, verse 56, as for the other people, right, the other nations, you know, the sons of the wicked, things of that nature, these other, you know, the Hamites, the Moabites, the Ishmaelites, the Amalekites, you know, all these other nations, man. It says, which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing, man. They are nothing, man. They are nothing compared to us. It says, but be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from the vessel. And it says, verse 57, and now, O Lord, beheld, behold, these heathen, which ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Right, man, because you got this damn Esau, Edom, and all these other nations, man. They eating good in this damn society, man. They on top. They own in corner stores. You know, they got all these different properties of real estate, man. All these different CEO companies, man. And where are we at? The lowest of the lowest in the projects, in the slums, man. In the fucking slums. And Salakia for my French, man. But but damn, man, we, we tired of this, man. And you people need to wake the hell up, man, and realize, man, that we are that chosen seed, man. You need to repent and turn to the Lord so we can get the hell up out of here, man. And I'm speaking for myself, too. It says, verse 58, but we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. Right, man. When you go to Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 24, it says, who gave Jacob for a spoil? And Israel to the robbers, right? And who are the robbers, man? This damn white man, man. Because what did he do, man? And, and, and Deuteronomy 28 chapter talk about he, the Lord bought, you know, a, a nation swift as an eagle, man. And who's swift as an eagle? What nation do you know uses the eagle, man? That's these damn Americans, man. And also the Romans, man. Which this is, we are in the, the, the revival of the Roman Empire, man. And the Lord gave us unto them. Let's see why. It says, did not the Lord... He against whom we have sinned, right? So we sinned against the Lord, and what he do, man? He punished us for it, man. And we're still in them damn punishments, man. We're still here, man. We're still going through that, man. It says, for they will not walk in his ways, neither were obedient unto his law, man. So we went the hell off, man. We went the hell off, and we still paying for that, man. But the Lord is coming back, man, to save Israel, man, to save his people, man. Matthew 1 and 21, man. Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. So you... So you, Akim, so you, 
You know what I'm saying? You Israelites, man, repent, man. We got to repent because we in those times, man. We in those times where where, where the days are, are, are coming short, man. We, we got to turn to the true Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, man, the true power, man. FJC, F, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh and all these other, you know, names that these damn heathens and, you know, these wicked ass two thirds try to give us, man. No, that's not the name, man. The name is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That is the true key, man, to repentance, man. You know, that is to unlock the deep uh, secrets and the mysteries, man, and to fear that name, man. With all that get understanding and wisdom and fear, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? This is um Salakia. Uh Khan, this is the back of the point that I was saying as far as us still being in captivity. This is Baruch chapter three and verse eight. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach. And a curse, man. We are cursed, man. And to be subject to payments, man. And what are we doing? We always paying taxes. We tribute. We're paying tribute to these damn heathens, man. You gotta pay sales tax. You gotta pay the state tax, federal tax, social security tax. You know, we got all these different taxes, man. All these different taxes. And then on top of that, well, we got the mortgage. We got the rent. You know what I mean? The gas prices is going up, man. We 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 constantly under these damn payments, man. And then when you pay all your bills, like the brother was saying, you pay all your bills. You thinking this next check about to be yours? Then what? You catch a flat tire, you know? And that's 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 a testimony for myself. I caught a flat tire, you know. You gotta pay for that. You gotta pay for new tire. Yo, yo, uh, you might have to get an oil change or or something might break in your house, and you gotta pay for that, you know. If, if brothers got, you know what I'm saying, children, whatever the case may be, the daycare uh, thing might go up, you know, the milk, groceries, stuff, stuff like that. You run out. Man, Every we, we're constantly subject unto payments. It's, it's, we're constantly rationing and, and, and holding over stuff, man, until we get that next check, man. It says, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our forefathers which departed from the Lord, departed from our Lord Yahweh, man. It says, Hear, Yasha Allah, the commandments of life, give ear to understand wisdom, right, man? To understand wisdom is to know that we in here are in captivity and we pay for our forefathers, which originally was us, man. It was us. You know, we went off, man. You know, as as a as a, as a nation, man, we went off, man. So now we we sitting here and we meditating, reading these scriptures and, 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 and linking it up with prophecy and seeing that, damn, the reason why we are going through this is because our damn people is wicked, man. It, it, we're wicked, man. And I'm saying for uh, as the two thirds, man. And Lord willing, we're one of the elect, the, the two brothers out here that's sincere, man, because we want to get the hell up out of here, man, because we get it, man. We tired of oppression, man. The scriptures say, uh, uh. The uh, a wise man, um, uh, oh, let me get it. Salakia, quick one, real quick. Wise man, man. Khan, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. And it reads, surely oppression make of a wise man mad, and the gift destroys the heart, man. Right, man. So this this oppression that we're going through, man, it, it, it pisses us off, man, because we know that we're supposed to be on the top of these people. But yet we catching hell, man, because of the shit that we did in our in our past lives, man, according to our forefathers, man, you know. And then I'm going to grab this last one and I'm going to close out, man. It was just supposed to be a quick hit. But this uh, this is Haggai verse one and six. And this is basically going to what I was saying as far as living paycheck to paycheck, man. We're constantly going paycheck to paycheck. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, Haggai, I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, Haggai 1 and 5. It says, Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai of hosts, consider your ways. Right? What are our ways, man? What, what, how are the ways that we live in, man? What what, what, what type of situation are we in, Akim? Where are we at, man? Consider your ways. It says, verse 6, You have sown so much. So, like, you have sown much and bring in little. Man, we, we constantly work in... All these shifts, you know what I'm saying? Day to day, 10, 12 hours, 9 hours, 10 hours, that 9 to 5, man. Me personally, I'm working 12 to 13 hours, man. You know? And it says, and bring in little, yeah, ye eat. Bring it, so like it, bring in little, ye eat, but ye have not enough, man. So we eat and we don't have enough. He said, ye drink, 
but ye are not filled with salakia. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag of holes, right, man? So we constantly sitting here working, living paycheck to paycheck, trying to put in our savings or, or put in this. And, and what happened, man? All these different payments and, and, and shit that happened to us, man. But it, it's constantly putting holes in our pockets, man. So we don't have enough for ourselves to enjoy, man. We don't have nothing for ourselves to enjoy, man. That's why this place is so damn vexing and vain, man. Man, that's why we got to get the hell up out of here, man. Because there's nothing here for us, man. This place got to be destroyed. And the Lord, I know he cannot wait to destroy this damn place, man. Because it got to go, man. So we can have our kingdom and rule, man. So we can be filled in cloth and warmth, man. So we can have the Father and the Son with us, man. Dwelling with us, man. So we can have that warmth, man. But right now, all we have is the comfort of the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, man. With these scriptures, man. So that's what we got to do. We got to continue to hold on and, and, and just take it, man. But it's just like, man, you other, you, you, the ones in the nation of Israel, man, you need to wake the hell up, man, and, and, and realize that this shit about to come to an end, man. So repent, man, you know. So I pray that this lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, strong shalom to the hopeful elect. Baba Boy, Kwame Yasharala, Shalom.